is crazy. A lot of people feel some type of way. I say I'm the king of New York, you know what I'm saying? And I feel you, you know what I'm saying? But if I wasn't the king of New York, don't you think somebody would have stopped me by now? Don't you think somebody would have put an end to that? It's a fucking dub. And if I wasn't the king of New York, y'all wouldn't even pay me no money. I'd be like, yo, just let that fucking clown talk. That niggas are relevant. But y'all be so caught up in y'all feelings because y'all know it's true. I think y'all niggas be so mad because of this rainbow hair. Right? The rainbow teeth. Y'all be like, yo, why is this nigga winning and I'm not? Why is my raps and I'm more talented than the kid and that shit not working and all that shit? You know what I'm saying? And this kid is screaming on the mic and it's working. That shit gets y'all so fucking tight. But you know, I'm going to keep winning. You know why? Because I, I listen to, to my fans and I listen to people, bro. And, I, and y'all niggas just got so much hate in y'all fucking heart, you fucking bozo ass niggas. Check it out, man. Check it out now. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, okay? And when you proclaim that you're king, you're the best ever, you are the person in the top spot, it means everybody else is going to be throwing rocks at the throne. It means everybody else is going to be coming for the number one spot because that's how life works, okay? Now, this rap game is about a bunch of runs, okay? It's a game of runs, just like basketball. This team has his run, then the other team has a run. It's who could last the longest, really, throughout the runs. Now, we've seen in hip-hop, when somebody's having a run, somebody who could be a competitor, be within the same field, sometimes they fall back a little bit. 50 Cent had a crazy run, and Jay-Z admitted himself like, yo, when 50 Cent came through, I told all my Rockefeller niggas, let's chill out for a couple years until he cooled down a bit, then we'll strike. You know why? If we came out when 50 was smoking hot, damn, he would make it look like we fell off. I think Cardi B's doing that, or actually, I think Nicki's doing that with Cardi B right now. Cardi B was flaming hot. Nicki's taking a couple months off, probably getting her best work ready for like the summer or later this year, and when she comes back, Cardi won't be as hot, okay, unless she gets another Bodak Yellow, right? And of course, Nikki will be then given a fairer platform to compete on, okay? Takashi 69 one of the hottest New York rappers currently, yeah, he's hot, but is he the king? He's having his run, but is there nobody else? I would disagree with his statement that he believes he's a king. You know why I'm going to disagree with that? Because I'm going to look around and I'm not going to speak on what it means to be the king. Because T.I. also said, yo, when you are the king, or actually I think uh, Scarface said it. It was like, yo, I never called myself the king because if you look in history, a nigga who calls himself the king means you open it up for people to try to dethrone the king. Anyway, 6 9 He's saying he's a king, and I'm saying that there's other people that could claim king or queen as well. They just don't want to. Okay, again, I ain't going to be talking no street shit in this video. I'm talking about strictly the music and the numbers. Let's talk numbers, okay? So when you say you're the king in New York and you're projected to do about 65,000 first week or maybe even 60 or maybe even high 50s or even like up to 70, we haven't gotten the final predictions yet or final pro projections or finalized numbers. However, those numbers are pretty impressive, okay? Granted that... A year ago, you were nobody. Now you're selling 65,000 records first week, right? Now, let's compare it to other people because it's not like you're doing Drake numbers and you're doing Troy Ave numbers so you can unanimously claim king. It's that the other people don't want to claim king. You haven't had singles as successful as Cardi B. So why can't Cardi B claim she's queen? She's had way more success on a single level. She hasn't put out an album yet, right? Even though she's put out taste, but whatever. Like She hasn't had that big, impactful album since she's got the clout. She doesn't claim she's queen. A Boogie, he put out his first album. It sold 67,000 records first week. He don't claim he's king. You know why? Because he doesn't want to claim that shit. People are seeing this king title as number one offensive and also stepping on other people's toes. A lot of people are saying, yo, it's New York, the new New York, everybody could eat. And I believe that. So with 6 9 saying he's a king, I don't think he's a king in New York. I think he's one of the top rappers who are currently popping from New York, especially the new ones. But is he unanimously the king? Yeah, nigga, they talk about you more than everybody else. But does it translate into sales, um, tours, and all that shit? That is yet to be seen, and we're waiting to see it. Wait till these numbers come back. If, if they boogie out sold you, how you the king? If you're not selling out shows and getting like half a million dollars for performance like Cardi B supposedly got for New Year's Eve, if you're not getting that, how you the king? So again, I'm just trying to be objective here. And I know some people think that I'm, like, fucking biased now, but my nigga, listen, I, just to keep it real, oh, yeah, whatever the hot artist is, we gonna cover, <laughs> okay? If, if you didn't think we are gonna cover the whack artist who is not hot, what do, what do, you, think, what do you think this is? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's Academics TV, bro. Get a comment, box, with you guys like and subscribe.